the guardian of chaos, Big Daddy, and I tell it like it is, coming to you live from the Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Training Facility here at the Diadamo and Tracy Bale Bond Studio for today's press conference. I want to thank all the fans in attendance. I'd like to thank all the press and media that showed up down here in Paradise Alley. We greatly appreciate it. What we have here today, fans, is the contract signing for the main event for Diesel Mania 4 on September 13th at the Annex Club in New Haven, Connecticut. I'm going to bring out the champion and the challenger this afternoon. We're going to get the contract signing done. We're going to interview both stars. We have some special stipulations, and we're going to revisit the past history between these two grapplers. So fans out there on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all of social media, and don't forget to listen to Mario Chaos as the Kid Podcast. But more importantly, let's get on to today's contract signing. Fans, I'd like to introduce first the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Showtime Marcel Williams for the contract signing. Showtime? Hey, that's my yeah. buddy. Yeah. yeah. I gotta give you claps. The war is what's, over. What's going on? Listen, what's going on? What's going on? When you're live, my friend, you yes. never know what's going on here at Paradise Alley. Hey, listen, this could be an episode for Mario K. Hotsa the Kid. Yeah, listen. Uh, you know, I love the podcast. You're doing a great job. You're talking about Marcel Williams, the champ. And, uh, we just gonna get this started. Well, first off, I want to welcome you to the press conference. I greatly appreciate your time. I know you have a lot going on. There's a lot of organizations trying to get in touch with you. You are the heavyweight champion. Reigning and defending. What I want to talk about briefly, because we're short on time, there's a lot of people here. You, know, you guys have appearances coming up. I believe both you and Matias will be at the mall after this for, for some sort of autograph signing, so I'll be there to referee that too. What I want to talk to you about is your history with this opponent. Now listen, it's well documented Showtime. You've been in the ring with Mick Drake, Richard Holiday, Paul Roma, the legend, Mario Mancini, the owner of Paradise Alley. The list goes on and on. It's a who's who in Paradise Alley and in professional wrestling. And you've come up as a winner in 90% of those matches. Hence why you are the two-time reigning and defending heavyweight champion. You've been in the ring with Matias. Tell the fans at this press conference before we get on to the signing and special stipulations your thoughts on the number one contender for September 13th at Diesel Mania 4. Well, Mat Matias, he's, he has earned the right to face the PAPW champion at Diesel Mania 4. But Diesel Mania 4 is a big deal. This is the biggest show at Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling. And the last two years, I have not been coming out as the winner. And uh, Mick Drake and RJ Rude, they have defeated me at this event. But this event is the event. Because I have to come in as the champion and walk out as a champion. And Matias, you may have run, won the Rumble in Paradise, but you're not going to beat Showtime Marcel Williams. Well, so, so um, this is what I'm hearing from the champ. You have a different mentality coming into Diesel Mania 4 because you are the reigning and defending champion. Past Diesel Manias didn't have the luck on your side. This time you walk in as the reigning champion. I walked in last year, but you know what? The company was against me like they always are, and their second vote in Listen, season. we're not here to talk about your beats of Paradise Alley sometimes. We're going to talk about it. We are talk about it. Because I put this company on the map. It's I, I see the smoke the coming out of your ears sometimes. And you got to address Roma and Mancini and, and Diesel Mania 4. And go ahead, you know, Showtime. This is supposed to be a press conference here. Big Daddy made the chance. The company I'm is feeling the heat. The man. company is afloat because of me. I am the reigning and defending two-time PAPW champion. And y'all fans and all these people out here that's watching this press conference needs to respect that. I know y'all hate me. I know y'all can't stand me being a champion, but it is what it is. I'm the best thing in PAPW. And whether you like it or not, I'm still going to be the best thing in PAPW. And I'm going to walk out 
still the reigning and defending PAPW champion. I notice uh, that when you say reigning, defending, that kind of rolls off the it tongue. Rolls as out. It rolls out. It's going to keep on rolling out until the day I die. I will say, champ, you look tremendous. Great. With that, you, you're, listen, you're obviously hit the gym. You're in great shape. You're the best gym of my life. Jack is shredded. With that being said, speaking of ripped, jacked, and shredded, who shredded at me? I'm going to bring out the number one contender, the winner of the Rumble in Paradise. You fans, you know he's back. He has returned. Professional wrestling superstar, number one contender, Matias Ganapoli. Matias! Hey, brother, how are you? Hey, does Denapoli look like RJ City? Somebody leave a comment if the guy on my left, your right, looks like RJ City as I go off on a rant live while I'm talking live. <laughs> Enjoy the press conference. For the contract signing on Diesel Mania 4. Showtime, you have had your time to speak. I'm going to turn it off to the number one. Once again, I'm going to slap the cameraman. The winner of the Rumble of Paradise will give the fans a quick rundown. The final four, first off, we've eliminated 20 other competitors at Rumble of Paradise to earn this right. The final four were members of the Tri State Kings. Their house, their rules, the house of pain. I'm just saying, those are facts. So I tell them like it is. And the current MLW Tag Team Champion of the Dynasty, MLW star Richard Holiday, with yourself, you guys were the final four of Rumble in Paradise. That's right. Break down what happened and gave you... This press conference is from, I believe, uh, 20, late 2018 or early 2019. You know what, Daddy? Uh, I, I knew... I gotta find my notes. If I wanted to come out victorious as a number one contender and earn the opportunity to go to Diesel Mania 4 and fight for that championship, it was going to take everything I had. And uh, let me just tell you, 15 months of being sidelined will boil up enough ambition and fire and, and, and create the best kind of chaos. If you will. Thank you. Chaos. Uh, so what I do, I reach down inside. I, 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 I thought of all those days I looked in the mirror and I wish I could be in the ring, but I couldn't. I felt healthy, but I wasn't. That's what got me through that match. That is what helped me become the number one contender for that there PAPW Heavyweight Championship. That's well broken down. That's well stated. I, I can feel... The testicular fortitude, if you will, coming from you. I am Taurus, though. I can feel the fire, and I can see the smoke coming out of the ears of Showtime Marcel Williams. And fans, this is why. Not only are these two men going to be facing off at Diesel Mania 4 on September 13th, they have, as Dusty Rose, the legendary quote, once said, Long blood runs between you two. You have already faced each other a handful of times, three or four times. Not the Dusty the Rhodes legend, quote. I'm going to get to both of you. The legendary ladder match involved with the Intercontinental Championship, outside interferences, disqualifications, time limit draws, who's champion, he was champion, you were champion. You guys have, were in a, a match that's been documented to go down as one of the best ladder matches in the history of this business, especially here in the legendary hotbed of the Northeast and New England. Go out and see it, fans, on YouTube. Go out and see it on social media what these two men can do. You're looking at the champion, the two-time champion, the only grappler in Paradise Alley to hold all three major titles. You're looking at a superstar on the rise of Matias Napoli that's been all over the country. And I believe you're one of the few Uruguayan born wrestlers in the world of professional wrestling. Am I correct about your ancestry, your background? 
To correct you, Big Daddy, I am the only Uruguay professional wrestler in the, in the world. Fans, you heard it there. Matias did not really say, I do my homework, I do my history, to the point of there. the credentials of you two gentlemen and the long blood. I'm going to go to a champion. Big I want to let me stand down. I want to go to the history. Briefly. No, wait, wait. Before you say the history, you're going to say the current Matias Napoli, okay? You can sit here and make this press conference about the documentary of Matias. Nobody cares. So you want to talk about a real documentary? Let's talk about him being a failure. Let's talk about him failing. Being the man around here. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. We're not here to bad about it. No, we're sure no, no, it's not about bad about it. It's a, it's a fact. It's a fact. Ever since he lost the Intercontinental Championship in that ladder match, what has he done? He's been a failure. He's been a failure. He's been a failure to himself. He was a failure to Nutrius X because when he got injured, what happened? Nutrius X became the first ever King of Paradise. He became the Intercontinental Champion. There has been success without this man around. The last two diesel minions, he has not been at because he's been injured. I would have a legitimate excuse to man was injured. It doesn't matter. He's injured, bro. That's an excuse. Matias, you need to recognize the fact that you are a failure to yourself and to this company. And September 13th, I'm just going to prove again that you are a failure. To yourself and this company once again. That's the documentary of Matias. Well, I, I have nothing to, to say. I'm impartial here. Uh, Showtime, uh, I don't endorse his words. He speaks for himself as the champ. Uh, I want to give equal airtime to the challenger, who I respect as much as I respect the champ. Uh, Danathne, Matias, if you will, your response to the harsh criticism from the champ. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's funny. It's funny because uh, as, as much respect as I can have for somebody like Marcel Williams as a competitor, as a champion, it's a different story, my friend. Because a champion should carry himself with some type, some type of class. Respect the guy who he's going to face at the next event. Because let's say, let's say I'm a failure, right? So what happens when you lose that using Mania 4? Who's the failure of that? I'm going to say this to say that, and then say that to say this. I was trying to talk about the long history. Both of you gentlemen, it's apparent. I can feel the tension. And stop kicking me underneath the table. You didn't do your job. Every time I'm trying to make a point and harass me to you as a fair question, as a champion, you step down my point. You're kicking me under the table. You're this about Matias. This is not your press conference. This is a Paradise Alley press conference, champ. Let, let's get out of the business here because there's special stipulations that I have to talk about here. You've got Joel Fluster here. But fans, relax. Relax. We know it's hot. We've been here a long time. The bottom line is there's stipulations, fans, coming up. Diesel made the four, September 13th, for the heavyweight championship. I'm just reading what the paperwork says. You're going to have to look at it. Please. There's been a stipulation that was issued and temporarily granted. Oh, that's that's the thing you texted me about that you're going to. I tried to keep it out later. Let's hear it. Let's let's hear it. Showtime Marcel Williams has filed and been issued, like I said, temporarily. A restraining order against Matias Dinapoli to not come within 50 feet of the champion prior to September 13th, Dieselmania 4, where you are automatically disqualified and do not get the number one contendership or any championship match in the future prior to September 13th. So, wait, hold on. So, this, this is what's funny to me. All right? We're talking about. I can't lay my hands on him or come 50 feet within his vicinity, all right? Or I lose any future opportunities. But what happens? What happens when uh, Williams 
provokes me. What, what, what happens, Big Daddy, if he sends his goons to House of Pain to come? Maybe, how do you try to soften me up before September 13th? Keep her a try. What happens, Big Daddy? What, what would happen? The tri state kings are always lurking in the shadows. I'm here at Parcel, but I'm stating the facts. Matthias is bringing this up. It's now brought up in the public. It's not going to be official. There may be a restraining order, maybe violent against the tri state kings. How dare he bring up Alice Payne? Let's talk about his history. The last time we've seen him, he taped somebody's mouth shut and put them in the trunk and sold them. Come on, let's be real. You didn't think that R.J. Rude and Jane Bernardo were controlling the trunk. You don't think I need a restraining order for that? I don't want to be in the trunk. No, 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 no. Listen. That's a valid point, Matthias. What's your response to that? I think we're going to turn car. I think we're getting off topic here. All right? I think can't be sold. We, we, we're here. We're here to sign this contract because we're thinking about the now, the present, and the future, not the past. Okay? The past can be brought up at other times. Right now, what's important is Diesel Mania for September 13th. Listen, I'm, I'm a woke ass. I've been waiting a long time for this. I've been listening to you run your mouth, talking behind my back. Does he look right? like RJ City? A little tougher words. version of RJ City? And you know what? You know what? You can get your restraining order. Because I'm not the one, I'm not the one that's going to cause you that championship on September 13th. You want to know? You want to know who's going to cause him to go? It's going to be him. It's going to be Showtime Marcelo Williams. Because we're talking about a guy who's always cheating, who's always playing dirty, who's hiding behind other people, getting them to do the dirty work. Listen. I got no easy way out of this one, Big Daddy. If I want that thing, I got to pin a one, two, three. All right? So come September 13th, you better look yourself in the mirror before our match and decide what's best for Marcel Williams. Because if you keep playing those games that you like to play, it's only going to lead to your downfall. And September 13th, you might be the reason why you lose that piece of gold. With that being said, uh, Showtime, as you ponder what Matias just uh, laid down on you, we talked about the stipulation, we talked about the restraining order, we talked about the long blood between you two. Dusty Rhodes. Let's get down to business. Is anybody I paying attention? This is the contract, fans. There's plenty of time to take photos afterwards. They both gentlemen will be available for private press conference photos, interviews. Let's get this done first, please. Could you stop? You need to get this done together. Fans, it's official. Here's the contract from Mario Mancini, Paul Roma, Big Steve Tracy, and Paul Perez, the front office of Paradise Alley. Presents Diesel Mania 4, September 13th on Friday at the Annex Young Men's Association Club, 554 Woodward Avenue, New Haven, Connecticut. The Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling Championship match. Matias, the challenger, against Showtime, Marcel Williams, the champion. Right off of I-95. Sorry, fans, I have to go through the uh, politics here of the front office, but this is the professional wrestling business. This contract serves as confirmation that the winner of the Rumble in Paradise, Matias, rightfully get a main event championship match on September 13th at Dieselmania 4 against Showtime Marcel Williams for the Paradise Alley Professional Wrestling Championship. Both champion and challenger can win the championship only by pitfall or submission. There will be count outs and disqualifications and the championship can't be won by comments or disqualifications. So there is an easy way out. These are the stipulations, throw in the protective order, and this is the official contract in the front office that I need you gentlemen to sign here today. Showtime, as a champion, as a courtesy, I'm going to give you the contract first, my friend. And I, I gotta tell you, I kind of feel 
the tension here, I'm feeling a little uneasy. The little uneasiness going on here, my friend. You gave me your word. You gave me your word. There's legalities involved now. You know what? Before I sign into Big Daddy, I'm just going to say this. I walk into this event because we both, we, we kind of similar to each other. You know what I'm saying? We both got chips on our shoulders. We both walk in here want to prove something to this company. Because when we had this ladder match, we came in wanting to put this company on the map, didn't we? Is that right? That's right. But at the end of the day, this company was made for only two people. And that's Richard Holiday and Matias the Matthew. Because it didn't matter who was Showtime Marcel Williams. I was just Mr. Williams. But I had to evolve to become Showtime Marcel Williams. And what happened from that? I became the Intercontinental Champion. The best Intercontinental Champion that this company ever had. And then I went on to beat their golden boy, who wanted, who they built this whole company for, besides you, Richard Holiday. Those are strong opinions, strong facts. You know they're watching. So I don't even care. So at the end of the day, September 13th, I'm going to prove, just like I proved in the past, that I am the best thing for this company. And some people say they're the face of the company or they're the it factor of this company. I am the man in this company. And I'm going to continue being the man in this company. And September 13th, you're just going to be a failure, just like you've always been. And I'm going to walk out still. The man. There we go. Uh, strong words from the champion, the reigning defending champion uh, for all you tough suckers. Uh, Showtime Marcel Williams. Thank you, champ. I will use it again and thank you for at least being semi cooperative. You need to get your foot together. You're kicking me under the table. The champ, I gotta put up with this here at the press conference. I'm gonna hand it over now. Matias, I want you to read it over. You're aware of the special stipulation. Sign it. Give your final statement, your rebuttal, if you will, to what Showtime had to say. Here it is, my friend. Check it out. Read it over. All right. All right. Everything uh, everything matches up to what you were reading, Big Daddy. Not that I didn't take your word for it. And that is that. Let me tell you something, Marcel. It's going to be a pleasure come September 13th because this company may have been against you, but really, let's be real. Let's be real. The company has never been on my side. I've always had my legs cut out from under me, whether it was that ladder match, getting screwed by Ty, whether it was that finals match for the PPW Championship, getting screwed by Paul Roma. I'm always getting screwed. Come September 13th, I really hope HOP doesn't come down to the ring because I plan on that happening. You're not hitting me blindside. I know what to expect, and I don't watch it. I have 15 months to sit on my couch, sideline by injury, and just watch and take notes and take more notes and watch some more and learn your moves, learn your behavior. That's what it's all about for you fans as well. Williams, let me tell you, September 13th. Listen, learn, night. and watch. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, basically your final statements here at the press conference for Diesel Media 4. It's not official yet. I want to thank Matias. I want to thank the champ for showing up here. I'm the witness. Once I sign this, it's up to you two men. You want to shake hands, you want to touch gloves. Remember about the restraining order. This becomes official. Diesel Mania 4, September 13th at the Annex Hub in New Haven. The main event, Showtime Marcel Williams, the reigning defending champion against the number one contender, Matias DiNapoli. Don't you dare miss it. Fans, it's about to become official. The Guardian of Chaos.
stands there it is. Signed, sealed, and delivered. We'll get the stamp of approval. It's going down. September 13th, Dieselmania 4, the main event. Showtime with Matias. Since I'm a man of my word and man of honor, I'm just going to get up here and shake your hand. Remember the street, or don't try anything. You know what I'm saying? I just. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hey, guys, what are you talking about? Hold on, you're free spinning. You want to take me up? Let go, 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 let go,